Azeroth! Hello everybody, my name is Adam K. K. Bang with Final Boss TV. I'm here with this gentleman to my, my right. Brutal. Yes, you've been on the show before, I think. I so. have. Thanks for having me here. I and appreciate it. We are sitting down with a lead game designer for World of Warcraft. Hi, I'm Luis Bariga. How long have you been with, with uh, Blizzard right now so far? Ten years. Ten this years? my ten, tenth year, yes. Holy crap. That's amazing. Yeah. What do you focus on? So, for Legion, I've been focusing on guiding the Demon Hunter class, the Demon Hunter start zone, as well as uh, a couple of the other uh, level up zones, mm -hmm. and uh, some of the UI stuff that we're doing as well. I don't know if you, uh, if you play the demo, you'll notice small improvements to the UI, the nameplates and all that, I've got an update. The UI looks really awesome, I think. And all the new cool. panels and things for the wardrobe system and the tabards oh, yeah. and like that and all that, that's, it looks incredible. That's a huge amount of work, I can only imagine. Yeah, it's, it, it, it absolutely <laughs> is, but it's well worth it. I mean, you right. could hear the roars of the crowd when we said, like, yeah. oh, you're going to be able to hide shoulders, you know? Yeah, I was, you I little was, things like that. I was one of the ones uh, roaring, so <laughs> yeah. well received indeed. Well received. Well received. So I, I'm going to start with the first question here. And as someone that thoroughly enjoyed leveling in Warlords of Draenor mm -hmm. a year ago up until mm -hmm. very recently, I'm curious, what will the Broken Isles be like in terms of leveling? Will it be like the Warlords uh, in terms of treasures, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of rare spawns, in-game cinematics, etc.? And is there anything specific for Alliance and Horde? Or is it going to be a spec specific? Is there anything unique like that in the game for this expansion? Sure, uh, very much we'll, we'll take a lot of the lessons from Warlords. I think all of the stuff that you mentioned is still there in, a sh in some shape or form, awesome. and including you know the, the rare, the treasures, all that stuff. So much fun. Uh, so one of the things we've tweaked a little bit is uh, our use of cinematics. Uh, we, we absolutely love cinematics. They have their time and their place. Sure. However, uh, you know, you, you can run the risk of like, well, taking control of the character too much, right? So um, we don't want to make this thing that it's, it's sort of a formula. It's like at the end of every zone, you get a big cinematics, sure. yeah. right? So uh, we've, we've kind of spaced them out differently this time around. Very cool, very cool. Um, as far as like uh, other uh, Horde Alliance stuff, there's definitely a, a big, big chapter there. Uh, in, in Stormheim, it should be, there should be quite a big uh, payoff there. So if awesome. you're... If you're Alliance, you'll you'll get a Gen Greyman specific quest line. If you're a uh, Horde, you'll get a Sylvana specific quest oh, line. That's so, Ooh. Cool. So, that is so cool. Without revealing too much, but no, you, no, those I two characters that. will get. Yeah. It. I'm excited to level on Legion. I, I, I I've, I've been playing MMOs for MMOs for a long time, and this was my favorite leveling I've ever done in any MMO. It was it was fantastic. Well, that, that's good love to it. hear. That's good to hear. Yeah, and I think a lot of the the mechanics and a lot of the what what made. Uh, questing and warlords feel special is just going to get amped by this uh, level scaling that we yeah. have right oh that's right so you can go wherever you want really yeah, yeah. and that's the, so unique and the thing is the, the, those encounters will stay relevant right so right now in warlords right like let's say somewhere like gorbron hunting for rares there is awesome right but once you out level it it loses a little bit of that sure. challenge a lot of, a lot of that gameplay right so in legion right like let's say you skipped azuna and then you do that you leave that for Till the end, and you're like, oh, I'm max level. I never did a zoom. I never got all the rares there. And you go back, all those will pose a, 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 an actual challenge this time around. Yeah. Right. So they're all be 110. Yep. So that it won't. It won't. It won't just be like a completionist thing. I gotta go do this. Sure. There'll, there'll be actual rewards for your level. There'll that's, be actual that's awesome. mobs for your level. That so. is awesome. I love it. I love it. That sounds really good. I guess in the same way, I had a small environmental question because mm -hmm. in the same vein that all these zones you've been doing. For sure. Um, and Twitter wants to know, and this may have been asked before, I'm not sure mm -hmm. if it was like squelched or not yet, but um, I'm an Alliance player, mm -hmm. Stormwind Park. So uh, we, we, we get asked that question a lot, and right. um, I can't comment anything right now, but we are, we are hearing you. Okay. So it's the sort of thing that like, you know, you, you never know, you know, so you ask her something long enough and you, you never know what happens, but uh, uh, no, no more comments on that. Okay, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. No, that's fair. And then um, I'll go spec specific, and then you can take the yeah. one you were excited about. Absolutely. Um, this uh, when we reveal that that doom hammers for hand shamans, which is I, yeah. I play. So a lot of my viewers are going to want me to ask this question. Yep. Um, is the elemental offhand that we get going to have different variants as well as because the, the main hand can be changed around a lot? But is mm -hmm. the offhand always going to be the molten lava -y fiery one, or are there going to be different skins for that as well? They they will skin together. So when you change one, it, the complementary one will match the look. The element of the other. So it, they look fantastic. So, right. oh, so you you don't. <laughs> uh, we we do this for a couple of um, 
artifacts were, for example, for the was it Prot Warrior, uh, the the scale of Neltharion, right? right? Like, we give you a main hand that's not included in the name of the artifact, but visually it's a set. Right. So one of the things that um, I don't know, I think I think we said it. I don't know if we hinted at it, but I'll, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit more. Is uh, any of those artifacts that come as a set? We're, we're considering a single piece of equipment. So you right click once and it equips both the, your main and your offhand. Ooh. Yeah, so uh, any, any Does it have like one icon then? Yep. So uh, mm. dual wield, any like uh, sor sword and board, sword and orb, any of those uh, configurations will be consolidated into one icon, one button essentially for your artifact weapon. So there, therefore, anytime you, s you switch to look for one, it switches them to look kind of uh, in harmony, right? Oh wow, that's awesome! So it's like, is like the main hand offhand slots still gonna be there? So for like other things or older weapons, Correct. but just the new stuff for artifacts, it's just one, one thing. Correct, and and it does open the door after after we're done with artifacts. If we wanna, you know, use it somewhere else, it, it, we have the technology now. We can build it. So, so <laughs> we <good>. can build it. <laughs> All right, sir. So a character was introduced a few years back, and we haven't really heard much about this character since then. And I'm curious, is Medan still canon? Is he part of the Warcraft universe? Uh, I'm gonna no comment that one. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna Tough no question. comment. I, oh, you right. know, cause like I, it it actually got intro. He actually got introduced at a time when I was off the project, so I don't have all the particulars. Okay. So I'm not really well equipped to answer that question. I understand. To to add on to that a little bit, is Cadgar the new guardian? Ooh, that would be a big spoiler if it was, <laughs> huh? Right. So um, <laughs> let's just say that um. He kind of fulfills a lot of that role of, sure. you know, protecting Azeroth, you know, and then there's, e even if he turned back on that fate before, there's only so many humans that can help us right. like that, you know, so at a time of great need when the Legion is showing up, right, like, regardless of whether he's the Guardian or not, he's stepping up sure. and guiding the players Absolutely. and telling them, like, hey, we need you to lead all your paladins or lead all your warlocks and do this and do that right so he's still like our big one of our big lore characters and he, you'll definitely see a lot of him this expansion okay very cool very cool thank you awesome you want to take the next one too sure so uh do you happen to have any new character vu fixes coming for models with things like beard clipping issues helmet clipping issues etc because right now we see some things that you know stick out from helmets uh, i used to play a protection warrior and any time I would be holding a large shield, it would clip into the shoulders. Mm -hmm. Just curious if there's any plans to deal with that now or if ever. So one of the things that we did do this uh, expansion is we touched up all the melee animations. So it's possible Ooh. that some of those uh, issues got resolved. However, um, if uh, there are some models that are a little bit problematic because you know for whatever reason we wanted them to feel really epic. So sure. in, in some poses, it's unavoidable that we'll, we'll have some clipping. However, uh, definitely look forward to seeing a lot of like cool new, you know, if you're a rogue, cool new finishers, and if you're, cool. you know, a warrior, you know, your mortal strike's gonna look different this Very time around, cool. yeah. Mm. And uh, also, together with that, swipes and effects are, uh, we did a pass at that. So traditionally, range classes have gotten the most love out of like our engine, kind of keeping up to date and sure. receiving all these like new shaders and stuff, right? Because, you know, a fireball from you know 2005 looks different than <laughs> a fireball now, right? right. But uh, kind of our, our the fidelity in some of the melee classes wasn't quite keeping up, so they received a little love of this expansion. Do you mind if I add on to the question? And, and this is just off the top of my head. Is that because in a raid setting or a large group setting, melee are generally clumped together, and it's harder to distinguish those individualistic you know mannerisms and, and movements and animations, or is that just the way it happened to fall into into place for the past few years? It, it, it's it's more the latter, right? Like so, the way that um, our our tech works, if we get um, improvements in our engine that makes fire look cool, all of a sudden all of our our, our fire sure. effects look better, that right? Makes sense. Or we get um, improvements to the way our missile scripts work, so all of a sudden, right, like. Our shadow bowl trajectories and our fireballs, like they 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 can they can start feeling better, right? Sure. And uh, one of the things that melee d didn't have before it was purely animation driven, and they didn't really have a ton of effects. So we've w we've gone back and looked at opportunities for hey, you know, a big rogue finishing move or like colossus smash or you know even like the tank moves. Like why w why couldn't they have effects? So we we looked back and 
th there were really good opportunities to enhance those. So I'm sure all yeah. melee and tanks greatly appreciated. Yeah, I think he doesn't like <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. So my follow up question to the animation mm -hmm. fixes and things are: We going to see because we have legendary weapons now? They're going to be on casters. Are right. there going to be any animations that incorporate weapons, and will also spells maybe interact with bosses and mobs a little differently? Like, will dragons always get hit in the neck, mm -hmm. or will that be, you know, hit all over the broadsides, or is that still mm -hmm. something that might be changed? So, two parts of that. Right. To your first question, uh, yes, it won't be every animation, but okay. we're going, we're targeting some specific tie-ins to the artifact that does require you to hold your weapon, and we keep it, you know, unsheathed and stuff. Um, to your second question, I'm not actually sure. I, I am familiar with the problem. I am aware that we've looked at it. I don't know whether we have um, a fix in Legion or not. Okay. Yeah, because my one thing I was looking at was that like, Shadow Priests have a dagger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when they're in Shadow form, it's on their side most of the time. And then as they yeah. get darker and more insanity, you might not even ever see it. Right. So will they actually be using the dagger to you know weave a spell or throw something out? That's what I was really curious. Those kind of classes, like Fella Malorn for fire mages. Right. I don't yeah. think for, ev for not for ev every move, but right, sure. I've seen them for some moves. Some so like some iconic maybe some talents like big things or in. Uh, yes, although not not specifically talents, but yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's all I was curious about because for the longest time casters in WoW don't like interact with their weapon at all. It sits on their back or sits on their side. So. No, I I I I, I totally get it. And then uh, one of the things to add further a little bit, uh, we're we're investigating solving it for um, for bear druids so that you actually see the weapons there. Oh, but we're we'll, we'll we'll see if we can pull it off. So. Oh, because of their <laughs> fist weapons, the claws and yeah, things and. Yeah. But very neat. At the very least, they'll uh, they'll get custom a customization to their um, trans transformation while they have the artifact equipped. So, okay, want to bring up the artifact question? Yeah, I was actually going to say if we can jump down that. Yeah, way. jump to the artifact. I'm I'm curious. Can you comment on how artifact respecking works? Because right now you accumulate artifact power, mm -hmm. I believe, and then you can invest that power across mm -hmm. your artifact and level it up and blah, blah, blah. But like, are we able to just reset it on the fly? Do we need to go to someone? Are you able to do it at all? Uh, so the way that we're planning to do the system right now, um, you kind of don't quite need it. I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have hooks for stuff like that, but you'll eventually be able to fill all the talents. Right. So. So uh, to, to touch on that a little bit more, a little yeah. bit more specifically, let's say I'm, I'm uh, about to fight uh, a, a boss in the first raid of the expansion, mm -hmm. and it's a very single target style fight. Yeah, yeah. Whereas the next boss is a large AOE style fight, and I'm just making all this up. But yeah, let's yeah. say your weapon has a path, single target versus AOE. Right, right, right. Are you able to retool that for each boss? Not on the fly, but like I said, you won't, you won't need to because eventually you'll fill out both paths. Sure. So. Right. Well, that's, that's the follow-up question for that, is how long will it take? Will it take, like, all uh, of the expansion? Because if, if in Tier 19, we only have, like, enough points to go to one right. thing, right? right? Well, I assume it take us the whole expansion to unlock the whole array. Right. So it, it, it likely won't take the entirety of the expansion, but we'll, we have hooks for uh, allowing you to place point, points around. So that, it, I, w I wouldn't foresee that being an issue. Okay. So. okay. All right. And that means that, like, that will then, like, patches will also be the ones that progress us forward. Like, we can only get to a certain amount of artifact power in the first tier, right? Right. So, uh, as to the particulars of how we're doling it out, uh, can't really comment on that, but in general, that's, that's accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's, it's so, like, soft gating, basically. But, like, week one, Mythic Raiders can't just grind the whole thing out and be done with it in two weeks. It's... Unlikely, but uh, <laughs> we've been surprised by what our prayer players can do before. So uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that you know you can you can get ahead of uh, the curve there. So interesting. So like later on, bosses won't be needed to get their relic to unlock your weapon to upgrade it. Like you can. Well, so uh, let's uh, let's dive a little bit into that, right? Like th sure. there's there's the unlocking of the talents that you get with artifact power and stuff, but you will also be able to socket your artifact to, mm -hmm. to keep upgrading it. So that's the part that kind of is the long tail. Mm -hmm. The um, getting all the talents from the artifact, uh, we don't see that being a gigantic grind, honestly. Okay. Like we, we, we see that being as like, it, it's sort of like level up plus, right? Like it, it used to be back in the day, you know, even, even, even WoW and other uh, MMOs back in the day, like leveling up was the gate, right? Like it right. was like, oh my God, you're, you're max level. Holy crap, put right. a lot of time into this game. Um, and slowly we've, we've made that, you know, like less, less of a grind. And uh, I, I would anticipate this feeling like t taking, a taking longer than leveling up, but it's still not this like huge, huge 
commitment of like the entire life cycle of the expansion. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's touch on stats for a brief moment. Okay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but multi strike is being removed for yes. Legion, right? Yes. What stats are we introducing, if any, or how are stats being retooled for the next next expansion? So the big retooling is mastery. Mastery, we're like looking at like which masteries feel cool, which masteries don't, right? Um, multi strike, yeah, it's uh, Matt elaborated a little bit in the Q and A, but it wasn't really bringing anything new to the table. And as much as people harp on versatility, it is distinct, right? So like, it's a trade-off. To, to be clear by distinct, you mean like really nothing else does what versatility does, whereas multi-strike was very similar to crit. It, it was so, uh, exactly. I understand what you mean. It, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, the, the, the flip side of that is I personally also like, it's not that I didn't like multi-strike, but I didn't like a part of what it did to uh, our animation at the same time that we're trying to you know, increase, increase the fidelity of our game and, and have like those animations be really crisp and clean, mm -hmm. we have to do a lot of like compression to make it seem like you hit something twice within the span of time as sure. like once. And you know, once you have this big meaty moral strike, it's like, it's, it's a little weird to Absolutely. kind of like sneak a second one in there. I so got I got right. you. Yeah. Gotcha, for sure. For spells, it looked great. And I wonder, are some classes that really benefited from the multi-strike thing? Are they getting like rolled in still, like elemental shamans, for example? Oh, like, they still... We, we, both in their core uh, talents and in the artifact talents, th there, there are still things that play off of that. Right, because throwing out a lightning bolt and having like two little ones go with it, that looked great. But right. the mul mul mortal strike thing was just kind of Yes. Weird. And, and to the question of what we're adding, uh, another thing we, 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 we've shown a little bit off is the, the, the new legendaries, right? And if you think of those, right, they, they add another dimension that's not just like, oh, secondary stat that I'm stacking. It's more of like, what interaction th does this sure. unlock, right? Which like something. Really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like <laughs> really cool. Like yeah. Amping your, your dots so that they have yeah. a chance to just boom. Like, that's, that's huge, that's right? Absolutely. Very, I'm looking forward to that. Very much so. Very much so. There's a follow up to the, the amping thing with the new, like, world drop legendaries. Mm -hmm. Are those going to be, like, you're going to want, like, one? for each spec, or you're gonna have like multiple. Like as Enhancer Shaman, am I gonna need like a ring and a necklace and a pair of boots and a mm -hmm. bracer set? Or am I gonna just like wanna find that one necklace? Like how is that, how does that work? Because I don't wanna have to like, f I gotta find all my tier gear and then I gotta mm -hmm. get my, my dungeon gear out of the way and then I gotta get my, my legendaries somehow found. Like how does that, it's a little overwhelming, but do all classes just have like a couple or one or? Uh, definitely multiple, more than one. Okay. And then um, some of them will actually be really specific to you know either class spec or role and some of them will be a little bit more universal but uh there are and while some of the universal ones might be better like uh the dot one right like mm -hmm. might be better for some specific specs it's still we're, we're tuning them such that when you when that drops for you it's an oh crap moment like sure. it's still gonna be better than anything that you have outside like anything that's currently available for you at that time. Uh, so this may seem like a silly question, but is it confirmed that all the legendaries that dropped are uh, just tradable? Like, none are bound to a character when they drop, correct? Mm. No, 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 like no, BOE, that's... BOE, is that what yeah. you mean? Like no, I, I think very, f if any, very few will be BOE. Yeah. I think most of them will be BOP. But um, I, I might be wrong on that, but I, that, that, that's, I, I think that's, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. So it's, the intention is to, f to farm them. Yes, and or or the intention is to create really awesome reward moments sure. when you're like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> it dropped, it dropped, <laughs> right? Class hall oriented kind of things like that get you out to go find these, I guess. Uh, they're, they're, they will come from multiple sources. Okay, so it, there isn't like a single. Oh, yeah, you do your legend, legendaries drop in tier X mythic, right? It's a, they'll come from different sources. Awesome. Well, that's gonna be it for us. Brutal. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, gentlemen. Very much. Shake this man's hand because I'm holding the microphone. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye, everybody. For we stand once more upon the brink of destruction. The Burning Legion. Sweet.